Could you start by telling me uh, Dana Bibles, the only guy in the ACC who is in charge of both quarterbacks and wide receivers? Uh, how that helps you having the, the wide receivers in the same room as you work on the passing game? Uh, it definitely helps me, me understanding you know what the wide, wide receivers are trying to do on offense and and the wide receivers understanding what I need to do. And um, so it definitely is a, is a privilege and a blessing that he, you know, he can do both. Sorry. Well, I'm going to fire away then. Uh, can, can you uh, talk about the South Carolina game last year uh, and what memories, if any, you have of it are? Uh, it seems to me that when you got hurt, it's, it seemed as though you were just kind of starting to get into the rhythm. T tell me a little bit about that night and what you remember. Um, you know, just we we were working hard and everything, and then that, the incident happened. But you know, that's in the past. And I can't, I'm not really worried about it. You know, last year and everything. I'm excited about this game coming up. And I know South Carolina's got a great team, and and we've been working hard, and, and it should be a great atmosphere and a great game. Do, you, do your teammates give you a hard time about <laughs> that South Carolina? Not, not that they make fun of you being hurt, but the, the same thing you just said. Do you remember anything about the game? No, they don't give me a hard time. Uh, what, do you do you remember the play, or have you seen it on tape? Have you watched it on tape? Uh, yes, sir. I, I have I have watched it, and I have and I do remember it. Um, what are your memories? Uh, it's just a freak accident, and you know that, that was in the past, and I'm excited about you know the first play and the, and the plays that come this season coming up and, and the first game. Uh, tell me about you gave your team the thumbs up as you went off the field. That kind of seem to be, it almost became the symbol of, of you and, you know, no matter how far down you are, you, you, you try to lift the team. You know, I'm always trying to stay positive as I can and, and that, you know, everything's going to be okay, you know, no matter what the situation is, um, you know, if it's in, in life or in, just in a game, you know, I'm always going to compete and always try to do my best. Coach said that uh, he took a poll of the defensive coordinators in the uh, ACC and they were all for you completely changing the way you do things in terms of uh, pulling the ball down and running it and all that kind of stuff. You said, you know, you're, you're not looking to change to become a traditional kind of quarterback. What kind of changes and things have you done since the, you know, I guess the beginning of bowl practice through the spring just to recognize when the right time to, to take off and when the right time to stay in the pocket is? I think a lot of it's just understanding the offense, feeling more comfortable with the offense, feeling more comfortable with with with, with the wide receivers, tight ends, running backs, offensive line, just getting that experience. I think that definitely helps. And you know, I, I want to be I want to be the best quarterback I can. I want to be the best quarterback in the ACC. I want to be the best quarterback in the nation every time I step on the field. And I definitely want to be the best quarterback on the field that day. And you know, I'll do whatever it takes. You know, if it's sitting back in the pocket all day, if it's or if it's I have to have to run to get the first down, I'll do that. So. That's what I'm going to be every day. With being hurt last year in South Carolina, does it give you any more maybe extra motivation or maybe like not necessarily wanting to get back at them for not being able to finish out that game or whatever, but is it? are you more excited about playing South Carolina in the first game than maybe you would be if you were playing you know, some one double A team or, or whatever? No, I think it's definitely exciting to play South Carolina. They're a great team they, and a great coach, obviously. And, um, you know, SEC school and everything, so it's it's going to be a great atmosphere, and that's that's big time. You know, they they want to win, we want to win, and it's going to be on national TV. So that's that's the exciting part. It's not about last year, to be honest with you. It's about this year. It's about starting a new season, starting all over, and and and, and progressing from the experience that I had from last year to the to the growth that I had throughout the season, and to continue to keep growing and continue getting better every day. When, when you were playing baseball this summer, did you get a sense of excitement? People you talked to, or anything about just how much anticipation there is about this upcoming season, not just for you, but for the team and what you guys are saying You're saying during baseball? Or, or just, just during the off season? From uh, uh, I think a lot of people are definitely excited about the season. I'm definitely excited, but you can't pay attention to all the outside hype. You know, as, as a team, as a player, you know what you have, what you don't have, you know what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, you have to keep working on them. And every day I know, I know that I'm going to keep working hard as I can. And the guy, I know the guy beside me, to the left of me, to the right of me, in front of me, behind me, is going to keep working every single day. And so that, that's a positive thing. You said the team knows the strengths and weaknesses. What's the, what's the team's strongest point and what's the weakest point right now? You said you all know what you need to work on, so what's, what's one of those things? Like I said, that's what the team knows. And it's not really what outside people know or what they think they know. Um, so, like I said, you know, we know that we need to work harder every day and, and keep getting better.
Can you talk a little bit about the development of the uh, offensive line? You've got some experienced guys up there, Jarrell and Julian and Teddy now, and just um, what, how much they've grown as, long, as much as you've grown since you first took that snap against South Carolina. I think I think everybody has grown from the offensive line to the wide receivers to the defensive guys. And I think that you know everybody's understanding you know what Coach O'Brien wants, what the rest of the staff needs us you know wants us to do, and what we need to do to be successful. And um, I think that that definitely helps us you know take it to another level. And we'll, we're definitely excited about this season coming up because we know that we have some of the experience, and we know, we know have, we have some guys that are talented that haven't played that much, but that experience can help carry them over and, and get ready for the game. So, Russell, as you've talked to like people in school, stuff like that, does it feel different as this season approaches? Have you been like, wow, people are really gung-ho about this? Or does it feel different than it did the previous two seasons to you? I think there is def definite, um, there's definite excitement around around school, but that's always at NC State, you know. And, <laughs> As, uh, that's one of the reasons why I came here. You know, they have a great atmosphere. You know, no matter if you're winning or losing, they'll support you. But you know, hopefully, we'll be on the winning side this year. Like, is there any time that that sort of struck you? Like, wow, these these kids are really into it. Like, you're walking through the cafeteria, or you're out around town, something like that. Definitely, you definitely see that everywhere you go. And um, there's always, you know, state fans around no matter where you go. And and um, and so that that's a, definitely a good feeling. And exciting to know that you know every day you go out in the practice field there's, there's somebody that really wants you to win and and that's not just the motivation that's not the only motivation you should have though that's not that's not the only motivation we have you know we want to win for ourselves we want to win for our coaching staff and, and our families and everything and, and obviously for the school I know you're playing baseball in Gastonia this summer which a lot of a lot of state fans in Gastonia did state fans come to games or have signs or anything like that that you saw? Yeah, there's definitely, definitely a good amount of state fans there. They'd always have the ball caps on, or they, um, they have little little signs and little kids, you know, wanting autographs and everything. And that, that's exciting to know you can go somewhere else, in another city or whatever, and and you know you have so many state, you know, NC State fans, and and you know that's that's a thing that I you know I have to pay attention to. That I know that you know everybody always everybody's always watching, and that's a mm -hmm. that's a positive thing. So what's the, like when you're in Gastonia this summer, what's the funniest sign that you saw? Or, I mean, anybody say, hey, you know, don't forget football or you still got to beat Carolina. Or, I mean, just, you know, anybody ever say anything that struck you as, wow, there it is. Um, and nothing out of the ordinary or anything like that. Just, you know, true state fans. And you had other school fans, too, come up to you and, you know, wish you good luck for the season, even Carolina fans or, you know, South Carolina fans or whoever. And, you know, and that's a good thing, you know. That's mm -hmm. one of the things I liked about Gastonia is everybody's supportive, no matter what was going on or who they supported. Having the the wide receivers in the same room, can you t kind of break down how that helps you in terms of continuity, that type of thing? Um, like I said before, you know, everybody's on the same page. Everybody understands. Okay, if the, the defense is running this, then what are we going to do? Or um, and timing wise, understanding timing. That's, that's the main thing. Just being able to. Get in the film room and work hard. Not just you know, not just always on the field, but also off the field as just, well. Is there like a route tree progression or something that makes it easier for everybody if they know uh, at this time you need to be here, this time you need to be there. Here's when I need to deliver the ball. Here's where they need to be. That type of thing. Um, no, sir. Not 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 particularly. Could you tell us about the receivers and what you've seen this year and the progress that you think they've made? They've definitely you know improved. Strength-wise and, and speed-wise, and they're, they're they're really working hard on on catching the ball and just getting as many yards as they can. And they they definitely want to you know want to get the ball. Every single player, every single wide receiver wants the ball in their hands, and that's a positive thing. You know, from the from the first guy on the depth chart to the last guy on the depth chart, the wide receivers position, they all want the ball, and that's that's a good thing.